Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of PostgreSQL. Today I will teach you about comments and we will learn about some of the expressions in the PostgreSQL. So first of all, we are going to talk about comments, adding comments in SQL. Comments are basically added to show the functionality or basically tell the user that uh, what we are doing at the current moment. So first of all, we will be opening the database, our test database that we created and we will click on the SQL button above. So comment in a SQL is given by double dash that is dash dash and we can see this is a comment. Now as you could see that uh, this has turned out to be green. So this has successfully uh, been a comment now. So if you see that uh, I will put another statement that is uh, select star from company that was our table that we created. Now if you see it will fetch me some results. See I have uh, got some results here. Now to comment this out I will dash, dash add, just add a double dash in front of it. Now you could see if I run it I see empty query no results. So this is successfully uh, commented out. So we could see the power of comments so that we could describe that uh, this is a select statement. So you could see that uh, it gives an idea to the user that uh, I'm going to work with a select uh, select command so the next next method that you could uh, add comment is the normal programming method that is uh, slash star and you could write uh, this is a comment so as you could see again it is green so yeah this is one more method to add comments this is basically used to add multi-line comments when we don't want to use a double slash in each and every line so if you are using multiple lines suppose you could see that uh, it is difficult to enter dash in each and every line so we just use this backslash star star backslash and this is commented out so the second thing that we are going to learn about today is the expressions an expression is basically a combination of uh, one or more values, uh, operators and uh, PostgreSQL functions that are used to evaluate a particular value. So the first uh, expression that we are going to talk about is the as expression. expression. So the as expression is basically uh, used to rename a particular uh, field. Like suppose if I use uh, select uh, name from uh, company and you see that uh, I get name as the column heading of this. Now suppose I don't want name to be the column heading of this particular result set. I would be using the as operator that is select name as uh, employee underscore uh, name. Suppose I want an, I don't want name. I want it to be employee name instead of, in case, uh, instead of name. So I will just use this and you see that uh, I get it gets it gets replaced by employee name so this is the use of the as operator the next operator that we will talk about is the count operator so the count operator is basically used to count the number of fields in a particular data set now suppose uh, if i use select uh, count star uh, uh, star from company now this will result into the count of the number of employees I have that is 8 as you could see so this is the use of the count operator count expression and star means to calculate the distinct values from the data set similarly we have uh, a maximum minimum uh, sum and average function so basically the use of uh, maximum is to give out the maximum value in a particular data set now suppose I want the maximum age of an employee working in my company so I will use select max age from company this will give me the maximum age of the employee you see I have the maximum age as 40 so next would be the minimum age you could just replace min by max this would give me the minimum age this is 12 now suppose I want the sum of all the uh, salaries of employees working in my company now I will use select uh, sum and bracket in bracket I will use uh, salary see this will give me the salary of all the employees working in my company that is select salary from uh, company now as you could see that I get all the 
summation of the salaries in my company so the next is the average operator that will give me the average of the values that is select avg salary from uh, company now you will see that this will give me the average salary in my company that would be c this gives me the average salary so the last operator that we need to talk about uh, in this tutorial is uh, the timestamp or the current time like uh, if you want to put something like uh, if we have a photo that uh, user has uploaded we want the time and the date of the photo so we could timestamp uh, it so you could just do it by select current underscore time stamp this will give me the current timestamp see this is 2016 6 10 and the current time with the time zone so thank you for watching this tutorial we will be discussing more functions uh, in the coming tutorials subscribe for more and uh, stay tuned